Hey guys, welcome back to another episode here. We're back here at my crazy shop here where we build just about anything and everything. So, uh, one of the guys actually just took the Dodge out. Sorry if my voice kind of is sounding a little different today, guys. I was talking a lot, you know, when you have two jobs that you do a lot of talking at. Voice is very uh, scratchy. So, anyways, one of the guys went to pick up this truck here it's uh i want to say a 1984 ford f350 but obviously it's not it's a tlx so i believe it's based off that truck though so we're gonna end up unloading the truck here uh we also got to take the ford out today due to i want to get that truck ready to be sold because i am going to actually be selling it here shortly and then I want to get this up on a lift as well with the Bronco there. So we got quite a busy day ahead of us here. It's always good though when you only have busy days. Get a lot of stuff done. So we're just going to put this up here. I don't think we have any customers coming in with any builds either. So We might have a guy coming in on a trade-in though. On one of the Rams out front there. I believe he might be looking at the 5th gen but uh, I don't know if that's going to be happening today or not so we'll have to wait and see but I definitely want to try and get this Bronco on the lift and done today if possible I know a lot of the parts came in for it that we want and need for it it's going to be one hell of a different build that's for sure get this back on but yes I want to get the Ford F350 that's from our other shop there uh, up for sale because we've had it for a shop truck for quite a while here the Dodge is going to be staying same with the trailer there because that trailer is actually going to come to SEMA with us we might extend it out a little more but this Ford right here is going to be the one we are selling now I was debating about selling the trailer, but I think we're going to keep the trailer just for a little while longer. This is actually the first trailer I had from the other dealership. Kind of crazy to think about that I've had it that long. But, yeah, we're going to end up keeping the trailer. So I'm actually going to leave the trailer here. So we're going to go get another trailer with this thing. And then we're going to get, or look at a truck, I guess I should say. We're not going to get it. We're going to look at it and possibly get it. And then after that's all done, we'll bring it all back here and then this thing will instantly roll into the shop and we'll end up pretty much getting it ready to be sold. We we'll want to give it a wash and we want to change a couple things on it. Like we have an ideas, a couple ideas for the front bumper. So yeah, we'll get this thing ready for sale. All right guys, so we're just showing up to the house now that has the trailer now. I can't remember what property it is along here. I think it might be the blue one might be this white one though on the other side it's kind of a different trailer we haven't had this kind at the shop yet yep that's the house. that's the trailer right there so I did already buy this trailer I saw it listed on like online so I did pay the 4200 for it it's pretty decent uh, it's not the newest trailer but it's not the oldest obviously as you guys can tell 4200 might have been a little too much yeah I may have got a little bit of uh, scammed on this but uh, we can make it look a little better we'll probably end up leaving it right now but let me know should we do black again on this thing I don't know we might have to keep the black it does look pretty good but yeah we did pay for that trailer so I did pay for that in advanced and now well, let's go look at this truck so this truck we haven't really done a build on actually we haven't done a build on this company at all at the shop yet and which is kind of surprising because we've wanted to for a while now so we're going to look at this truck it's actually right over there very close to where this trailer was actually in this little town but it is one of the workers here at the actually local dealership here but he owns this nice little, I believe, 2018 Toyota Tacoma. 
pretty sweet little truck. It has a beacon, obviously, on top of it. It has the topper, the side steps, or rock sliders, or whatever you want to call it. I don't think, yeah, it doesn't have the TRD package. I don't think, I think that's the TRD. No, not even the grill. All right. But, yeah, he wants a few thousand for this thing. And when I say a few thousand, he wants a good, like, 18 grand for it. So, it's not too bad, but it is kind of high in mileage. So, I don't know. We might have to try and get him down on that. Anyways. All right, guys. And just like that, we got our truck. Uh, a little more than what I wanted to pay for it, but uh, we were able to scoop it for like $200 less. I mean, not a huge deal, but not the worst either. I want to try strutting the engine first though. So it has like very stock wheels. This is like one of the base models you can get. has a painted uh, front bumper. He said that when he did get it, it didn't have the painted front bumper. So he ended up doing that. Also kind of weird how the front bumper is chrome. Or the rear bumper, but not the front. No, we might have to change that. But yeah, we'll get back to the shop here. We'll unload the Tacoma. I don't know if we're going to end up getting to it today. But I know we're going to get to the Ford here today. So I am going to end up getting us back to the shop here. i got to build another shop truck. Maybe this Tacoma can be the next shop truck. I don't know. Anyways, I'll catch you guys back when we are at the shop unloading everything here. Alright guys, so the guys literally just opened up the door for us. I think you guys could literally see the door just opening up there. So one of the guys did open up the door for us. Pretty nice of them. But I think we'll put this on... I don't even need a big lift for it really. But I'm just going to put it on this over here. I do prefer these lifts more. This will go here. Now we'll get... Ah, shoot. Now I have to get that Ford up on here. We're completely full. We're going to be completely full. But I think we're going to get this trailer just put up right here just for now. And I have to end up getting a truck for it later. get that parked up right there obviously that's not where the trailers go but I mean right now it can go there now this truck can go inside I wonder if it's possible to throw two trucks on one left actually I gotta try that should be able to I mean should we do we want to though let's just hop in the Tacoma here I think we should be able to fit them both on here. It's going to be a tight fit, but should be able to fit them both on. I think that should be good. Now let's try and squish this Ford on here. There we go. Alright, both these can now go up, even though I could probably move the Tacoma a bit forward. We're just going to leave it for now. Anyways, I think the guys are going to start to work on these. I'm going to get this actually jacked up here. And then, probably going to make this into some crazy mudding truck. I don't know yet. We're probably going to do something like that. But we're going to get all those, especially the Ford, done. I think we're going to try and get that done first. Pretty much all Fords in the shop, actually, now that I think about it. Damn. Anyways, uh, I don't have anything to really go grab right now with the Dodge truck here, so I don't think we're really going to use this right now, so I'll just back this thing up. But I will catch you guys back when, I don't know when, when we're probably done the Ford there. Alright guys, so the guy is here. He came for his trade. He's actually going to be stepping it up. This is his truck right now. Uh, he's got a 2000, uh, nine, or, yeah, it's a 2000 Dodge Ram. It has the 5.9 Cummins in it. So just pretty much 
literally it's all stock he said the only thing that he's really done is upgraded the tires on it literally I think that's all that's literally unless there's something else he didn't mention like a tune or something everything else is stock on that truck but he is going to be stepping it up to this nice little fifth gen that we did here in this crazy lime kind of matte color so we're going to be getting this down for him Typical dodge being stuck on our lip. Alright, just gonna get this. This is one build that we did a couple videos ago, I believe. We did we just left it uh, the stock height, added some fender flares onto it, kept the stock bumper, made it kept the grill, uh, grill chrome, added a hood scoop into it, painted the tow mirror arms, and then added a cap onto the back of it, all that stuff and some obviously TIS off-road wheels but uh, this was also the same truck that we did pull out that red school bus around the corner over there we're just gonna leave this thing over here there obviously will be cash on top of it because I mean even if this was a stock truck it would be worth more than a second gen but these two trucks over here are officially done now they're both ready to be for sale here couple things we did to the Ford here we were gonna add a different bumper but we saw this one kind of laying around the shop and figured hey why not and some guy already took it off roading real nice we'll be wheeling it over here but startup is the exact same literally the only thing that we did change on it was the fender flares and the bumper everything else stayed I do believe the height of the truck did stay the color we were going to change the color we were thinking of more of a brown kind of with a boy like still keeping the second tone black or even just making it all a one solid kind of color all white or something but we decided to keep this like burnt orange kind of color so this will actually be going up for sale here up on the um, ramps up here hopefully it gets sold soon actually we also did change the mirrors we changed the bottoms to black just kind of felt like it was time so we'll be taking this second gen down now and this will be the new shop truck I mean I love this truck truly one of my favorite second gens we've ever built we built that one at the other shop I think a video just before we actually sold the shop so we'll be getting this put up here There we go. Alright, and this will end up being connected to probably that trailer right there, but for right now, we're going to end up leaving it. Honestly, I love this truck. So I think we'll just get this thing set up to this trailer right over here. As for that TLX over there, now, I don't think we really have a spot for it. I'm pretty sure it will not fit in the showroom. But I love the engine. Now, usually we're doing always diesels on these trucks. And, I mean, obviously before it didn't have a bed, we threw a long box dually onto it. But usually we're not doing gas engines in these trucks. But this one has an exception. It sounds so damn good. And one of the guys decided to do this color on this truck. And honestly, I gotta tell you, it was so awesome. We got the chrome actually from a junkyard. We got a lot of things from the junkyard. We got a new rear bumper. The rear bumper did not come with this truck. Same as the taillights. And actually the tailgate. We got the bed itself just separately. Uh, what else do we get from the junkyard? We got the visor from the junkyard. So it was honestly pretty worth it. Like, yeah, that's not going to fit in there. There's no way. Although, since we s we're selling this truck now, well, we used to be a Dodge dealer, now we're a Ford dealer. We need Chevys, that's for dang sure. I don't even think we have any Chevy. Oh, uh, we have the square body, actually. And I am going to be going to look at another one, I believe, here in the next couple weeks. So be sure to keep an eye out for that video. 
it'll be a little bit of a different video I don't think we'll be really customizing any trucks if we are it's probably just gonna be one truck in the shop probably be a slower day but uh, they're signing over the papers right now for those trucks and now we just pretty much wait for the other trucks to be done obviously it's Tacoma and uh, Bronco are still on the lifts they haven't gotten to those yet but we just tried to get out these two trucks here hopefully this does so I'm praying it does but uh, yeah all right guys so the trucks are both done we actually extended this trailer and we took it into the shop and got it extended and we might in the future turn it into a dovetail it depends on how long we want to keep it after SEMA it's also kind of our second longest trailer it might actually be longer than this one I'm not sure I don't think it is though but yeah we got them all pulled in here this was a while ago that we did this but uh, I let someone back in the truck and uh, I don't know if this is the best they could do or what but uh, yeah didn't realize that till now I've been using the second gen a lot anyways so both the trucks are done speaking of which we pulled this truck in here and we're gonna get to that in a sec here but uh, here's the Bronco that we picked up uh, last video I really did hate to change the colors on it but it just this kind of fit the build more that we wanted to do so we did a white mat and a blue mat um, we were gonna keep the square lights but we decided to do round we did a custom front bumper with a winch and some round lights in it as well uh, interior has been redone kept the white in the middle but did blue we added a net took out the back seats and off the and took off the hard top now we were going to take out the tailgate and actually we weren't going to do a rear wheel we were going to put a winch like right here we might do that with one in the future or this one even but we got lights on the top of this thing a net obviously like i said we got a wheel with a little attacher i don't remember the name of those things right now but we also got a bumper here with some more lights on it but yeah pretty much an all-around pretty sweet build honestly also forgot to mention we put a little bit of a bigger engine in this thing so it's got a little more kick to it i believe this thing is pushing around at least 600 horses so yeah pretty sweet build honestly obviously did some custom rims and tires i mean what would this place be without custom rims and tires other than on that square body we don't talk about that honestly one of my favorite builds it's got some get up and go this will be going into the shop as well hopefully it should fit did measure it it should fit there we go but yeah that's uh honestly pretty good for i think this is either our first or second ford bronco we've built out we may have built an, an older one out or a newer one out in the future or the past sorry but uh still gotta get to this old chevy that's still sitting here might do that in the next couple of videos now as for this thing right here the guys completely killed it with this one i don't know who decided to go with this kind of camouflage pink and purple and dark blue wrap but uh, i guess we did that now it's still originally gray underneath or silver or whatever but this obviously is a wrap so you can take it off if you didn't want uh mirrors are even wrapped in it we added a light bar on the top we decided to take off the beacon we weren't going to leave it but we decided to take it off we left the grill we were going to do a trd grill but just decided to leave the stock one obviously everything is wrapped took care of the rear bumper and then as for the tis's we were going to do a matte black um, for the tis's but we decided to do this glossy purple so we're always doing matte black and we're always doing tis's actually in the first place kind of had a, an idea to do boggers on this thing but decided not to but i don't know this might have to be our new shop truck as you guys can tell we also put a box cover on it took off the cap obviously because it wouldn't really fit the build that we did we did switch out the rock steps so or the side steps i guess for these ones these ones just look so much better in my opinion 
I don't know why I just put that thing out. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. But yeah, honestly, probably one of my favorite builds that we've done here at the shop. I mean, we haven't ever done a Toyota at the shop that I at least know of. But yeah, pretty sweet build. Now, is this thing legal? I have no clue. Honestly, I could, I could not tell you guys if this thing is legal or not. I, it should be, but knowing officers nowadays, something's changing daily, so I have no clue if this is even street legal. So we do go up to 120. Not bad, not bad. I'm just going to casually cut this guy off because I'm in a Toyota. Even if I was in a Dodge, I would have said I'm in a Dodge. But anyways, guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button as always. And we'll, I'll do my po uh, part of keep uploading videos for you guys to watch. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Bye.